coming back from COVID is like walking into a dark room and you're trying to wait for your eyes to adjust so you can see. This is challenging times. It's not for the faint of heart. Before the pandemic, the United Nations Global Compact Leader Summit, we didn't have to invest any marketing dollars in getting people in the room. We never had a problem. But at the very end of February 2022, we were having our first Leader Summit in person and back from COVID. The 2030 agenda is facing very difficult moments. Things are not the same. What we're seeing coming back is we need additional Intel services as we plan. There's no longer an option to plan in-person events with no data sources. These are weighty challenges, and they're challenges we cannot solve alone. I thought, well, let's investigate Ingo. This is the solution because it's so turnkey. It's such a reasonable budget allocation that it also doesn't feel like this massive risk we used Ingo mainly for our different audiences to promote that they were attending the event. So it really was a way to use every single attendee and speaker as an ambassador for our event. Over 2,000 more people were invited because of this network, this referral system that Ingo has. We had over 1,600 registrations come directly from these invitations. Using Ingo, we saw so many likes, so many engagements. We were able to go in the dashboard and see individual posts. We also didn't have to guess anymore about our real influencers. All of a sudden, we had this window into the world knowing what was happening and how our partners were marketing the event. It enabled us to make every stakeholder in our event also a marketing partner. In the past year, using Ingo, it's been the best decision we made. I'm Courtney McNeese, the Head of Strategic Events for United Nations Global Compact.